Broadcast broadband is a civil rights issue. In fact, MMTC has called it the top civil rights issue of the 21st century, precisely because the technology is being postponed, positioned, should I say, as a primary drive of economic opportunity and a catalyst for social change. The world is moving online. Once again, poor African-American and Hispanic households are being left behind. The digital divide continues to be real. Every day, more and more basic strunk functions are moving online. Business, education, medical, even social services. The threat of falling through the cracks, being left behind, outside the reach of the safety net are real and more real every day. As the MMTC puts it, the digital halves are first-class digital citizens with a passport to explore all the internet has to offer. The digital have-nots are second-class citizens trapped in poverty without access to opportunities offered in the digital economy. The data tells us that more than half of all African Americans and Hispanic households have yet to adopt broadband at home. The situation is even more serious for adults, even more so for our children. If we don't need deal with this divide, we run the risk of relegating the whole generation of young people to the fringe of society. It's true. 64% of African Americans use mobile applications online. African American teens are at the forefront of that group. But there are limits to what can be accomplished on your iPhone droid. They're great for playing Angry Birds, but not for doing research papers or filling out college applications. 